so initially i welcome you all in today's episode that is i shall cover today the subject matter is the punic wars and the story of great general hannibal i'm sure you have all heard the name of hannibal punic war is a war from the ancient history this war happened in 264 BC to 146 BC. In between this time, the Punic Wars, three wars, took place. So Punic Wars, wars is very much related with the story of Hannibal. This is a very unique history of warfare and there are many things to learn from this history. Now you might have heard the name of the Carthaginian Empire in 3rd century. Carthage used to be somewhere around Italian peninsula. So this was a old empire, Carthage, and Hannibal belonged to Carthage. So let's talk about first Punic War, which took place between 264 BC to 241 BC. In 264 BC, Carthage had occupied the town of Messina and this bothered the neighboring power Rome because the town was too near and it, is, it was located on the northeast corner of Sicily very close to Roman Empire and you must be knowing that Roman Empire was one of the very largest and strongest empire of that time so Rome did not like the movement of Carthage as they have captured the town of Messina. You can see from the map the location of Messina. So although the Roman won a few battles, they realized that victory could not be achieved by controlling only Sicily. So they have to also capture the surroundings in order to remain safe. So this is the background of the first Punic War. So what Rome did in order to control Sicily, Rome had to win battles at sea. But the problem was Rome did not have a working navy. So what the Romans did, they quickly built a fleet of ships equipped with bridges to aid in defeating the Carthaginians. And there was a very interesting story about building of the Roman navy. Roman had captured Carthaginian ships because Carthage was very good in shipbuilding and they had very good navy. So Roman captured few Carthaginian ships and they copied the ship making of the Carthaginian Empire. So by capturing Carthaginian Queen Kerem, the name of the ship, and they used to copy it and construct, the Romans constructed 140 ships by their own materials within 60 days time and the Roman was very good at land battle so what they did they sort of made like a plank by the plank they could transport soldiers from one ship to another ship that plank had uh, 
spikes on both the sides so that was the invention so that from one ship they can transfer their sold foot soldiers to another ship to fight so this was new Cartesian did not know it so the Romans converted naval warfare into a small land warfare and as I have told you that Romans were very good at uh, land warfare so by doing so building 140 ships and preparing them for the naval warfare Romans won the first Punic War so this is how Roman managed to gain supremacy in the seas and Carthaginian led leader Hannibal Barca he was cornered in Sicily and ultimately he surrendered in 241 BC Hamilton Barca was the father of Hannibal so in the first episode of the, the first war of Punic Wars Rome won and Carthaginian lost so Rome in fact after first Punic War spread and extended its empire in the meantime, Hamilcar Barca regrouped his forces. He took his forces to Spain. Along with him, he took his young son, Hannibal, with him. From Hannibal's biography, we came to know that Hannibal was a very young boy at that time. And he accompanied his father in Sicily during the first Punic War. At an early age, Hannibal was made to swear the eternal hostility towards Rome. And Hannibal said, I swear that so soon as age will permit, I'll use fire and steel to arrest the destiny of Rome. So that's how Hannibal was made an enemy to Roman Empire. So until his death in 183 BC, Hannibal spent his entire life in waging war against the Romans. In 221 BC, at the age of only 26, he became the commander-in-chief of the Carthaginian army. And Hannibal wanted revenge for his father's defeat and attacked cities that are very near and allies to the Romans. That's how Hannibal came into prominence and Rome declares war again. So the second Punic War will happen in 218 and between 218 and 201 BC. Now as you came to know that Hannibal became the commander in chief of Carthaginian army. His objective was very clear. He wanted a complete destruction of the Roman Empire. But the problem was how to get to Italy from Spain because Rome had already won and extended its empire. So Hannibal had no open routes and Hannibal could not even follow the naval routes <laughs> because by that time Roman had already gained naval supremacy so what he did was unthinkable and it was an exceptional move made by Hannibal and Romans never expected such a move so Hannibal invaded Rome so the Pyrenees mountains as you can see the map so from New Carthage, Spain, he moved along with the Alps across the Gaul. The Gaul is now part of France and over the icy Alps mountains. 
This was one of the most ambitious invasion plan in military history. Nobody with such a massive army even thought of going and attacking Rome over the Alps, crossing Alps. This is unthinkable. And that time, there was no road other than naval naval uh, power. They, they could not invade. But that surprising plan was made by Hannibal, and he executed it, actually. So Hannibal left Iberia in 218 Spain with about 35,000 soldiers including 40 elephants. Those were war elephants. In the Alps, he and his men suffered greatly from winter conditions and hostile tribes. But by the time they reached northern Italy, almost all the elephants had died and his army had been reduced to 20,000 men and 6,000 cavalry. But this number was quickly raised to 40,000 by addition of girls who all were enemy to Rome. So the girls helped this Carthaginian commander-in-chief Hannibal to raise his army. So you see this movement of Hannibal expedition plan is very much a talking point in history. So Hannibal marches men around the Italian peninsula for 16 years and never lost a battle. You see the mastery of Hannibal. Once he attacked the cities of different cities surrounding Rome, he never lost a battle. During this period, he annihilated much larger Roman armies using his superior tactics. In Trebia River, 218 BC, of 40,000 Roman soldiers, only 10,000 returned to Rome, 30,000 died. And in Lake Tresemme, 217 BC, 25,000 Roman was killed in action. And in the Battle of Cannae, 216 BC, he achieved his great victory. In the Battle of Cannae, 216 BC, you can see the map. Roman used the legion. This was a typical Roman formation. They used to achieve victory through sheer strength and training. It had heavy infantry, light armor, and cavalry. These three were mixed. And while preparing for the battle, Hannibal also took precaution to face the legion. So this was the plan. The Carthaginian general set up a trap. So what he did, he used his infantry to face the legion and he took his armor on the flanks and he did a double envelopment by using his cavalry and he kept strong reserve of cavalry to charge. So in this battle, a double envelopment took place and the Roman legion was completely surrounded. As a result, 80,000 legionaries started the fight, 46,000 was thrilled. It was a very brutal fight. 46,000 Roman legion were killed, 22,000 wounded, only 6,000 Carthaginian soldiers died on the other side. So what happens 
after the victory of the Khan, people expected Hannibal to attack Rome, march on to Rome, but he did not do it. He took a pause. It was unknown why he took a pause. So, an Italian general, he said, Hannibal, you understand how to win, but how to use your victory, you understand not. So this was said by Nitro General once Hannibal won in the war of Khan but he did not march to Rome. On the other side, the on the Rome, Roman side, after their last disastrous defeat in the Battle of Khan, the Romans would not commit any major fight against Hannibal. So a Roman general named Publius Cornelius Scipio, he invaded Spain and cut in off Hannibal's supply lines. After conquering Spain, Scipio invaded Carthage itself, forcing Hannibal to return home. Now Hannibal had to face the enemy at home and save his homeland. Hannibal was finally defeated in the Battle of Jama by the Romans. So by now, Rome wins twice and Carthaginian lost twice. And last, the Third Punic Wars it held between 149 BC to 146 BC. This war is known for the ultimate destruction of Carthage and Carthage was basically pushed into fighting again with the Roman Empire. So I am quoting from Marcus Cato, Cato the Elder, the Italian leader. He said, I declare that Carthage must be destroyed. So Roman army blockaded and besieged Carthage. You know, during ancient era, siege was a concept of attack. They used to attack and siege for a long time. So Carthage withstood a siege for three years before it ultimately surrendered to the mighty Romans. The Romans looted plundered and burned the city down to its foundation and sowed salt into the soil of Carthage to make it, to make it infertile. Of the 250,000 citizens of Carthage, only 50,000 could survive the massacre. And this number was later forced into slavery. So as you can see the map, the Roman Empire in 100 BC, it extended and it took Rome and its surrounding areas and all the red marking. Almost half of the Europe was under the Roman rule. So that's it. That's, that was the today's lesson plan we discussed about. First Punic War, Second Punic War, and the Third Ultimate, Third Punic War destroyed Carthage. And the Romans were the victorious group, but even the Romans were receiving victory, but they saw the superior generalship of the Carthaginian commander in chief named Hannibal. And in history, Hannibal's invasion to attack Rome by using an unconventional road and surprising the Romans using Alps. This was amazing. And this will be written in the golden history of warfare that surprise can become, the element of surprise can become a great strength 
and a battle winning factor. So ultimately Hannibal defeated but he was a hero even on the face of the Roman power he fought three Punic wars before ultimately defeated in the war of Zama the third Punic wars so that's it so today we learned the Punic war of ancient time fought between Rome and Carthaginian army and ultimately the result was that Roman Empire they won and they extended their empire in some of the future videos we will be learning in some other wars so stay fine thank you if you like my video then watch this video again I hope this video will be helpful for your preparation for any exam thank you very much